Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Bruce Banner Hulk versus Zola in standard difficulty. Um, so we've got Hulk in aggression. Uh, our plan is just to try and beat Zola down, ignoring the schemes as quickly as possible. Uh, so we go through our setup. Uh, we have searched in Canada deck for Hydra Prison and reveal it. So we'll search that. Is the Hydra Prison. So we reveal this. Um, when revealed, each player searched the deck and discard pile and hand for a hero specific ally and place it face down beneath this scheme. We place X threat on this scheme where X is the total cost of the allies beneath it. Each player shovels the deck. Now, Hulk doesn't actually have a hero specific ally, so this is just going to come in with uh, one threat, as it says on there. Um, and we when if we remove this scheme from the game and return each ally beneath it to its owner's hand. So, we're probably not going to care about that at all. Um, the rest of the setup then says uh, each player searches the encounter deck for a copy of Ultimate Bioservant and puts them into play and gauge with them. So we'll find an Ultimate Bioservant. There's one. And we shuffle the encounter deck with my beautiful shuffling here. Should get one of those automatic card shufflers. Uh, so the Ultimate Bioservant. Uh, it comes in with toughness. Let's give him a tough status. And he gets plus one attack for each attachment on him. Uh, he currently doesn't have any attachments though. Alright. Uh, we then proceed to 1A on the main scheme. So this will thread out at 6 before it moves to the next stage. Comes in with zero threat and goes up one threat per player at the start of each villain phase. We have a forced response on here that's after resolving step 1 of the villain phase. Place one test counter here. Then, if there's three or more test counters, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. We put that minion into play and engage with the first player and remove three test counters from the scheme. Um, and over here we have Zola. He's got a scheme of two, attack of one. He has retaliate one and hit points of 12. With that, we'll draw up our hand size and begin. So Bruce Banks five cards. We have a Clobber, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Yarnborn, a movable object, and a drop kick. Uh, I like all these cards, but I'm not going to be able to play all of them. I'm going to hold on to a movable object, Yarnborn. I'm going to throw away Clobber Spider Man Drop Kick and draw three more cards. A hand cannon, counter attack, another hand cannon. Okay. We'll use our experimental research ability to draw a card and discard a card. We have a suborbital leap. We don't want that. Hmm. We're just gonna flip up to Hulk. Spend three resources. To put in a movable object, giving us plus four hit points. Take us up to 22. And then we get a retaliate. Then just going to attack for three on Zola, taking him down to nine, and he retaliates on us for one. I'm just going to throw away the hand cannon and ready up. Draw four cards. You have a thunderclap, plan B, power of aggression, and a skilled strike. Okay, we get one threat on the main scheme. We then get a test counter. I'll put it here. Zola's going to attack. We'll take it. So one plus uh, place one test counter on the main scheme. For each test counter on the main scheme, Zola gets plus one scheme and plus one attack for this activation. So this goes up to two. Means Zola's going to hit us for three. Taking us down to 18. We retaliate on him for one. Then the bio servant's going to attack us for one. We retaliate on him and knock his tough off. Get our encounter card. The villain each minion engages you, attacks you. So, Zola's going to attack us again for one plus three Bruce Dragon, so four all up. Taking us down to 13. We retaliate for one. Bio 7 attacks us for one. We retaliate for one on him. All right. We 
we're going to spend three resources to do a thunderclap. We can just up the three different enemies, deal three damage to each of them. Um, we'll do three to the bio servant, so he's knocked out. And three to Zola. And luckily, this is not an attack, so we don't get retaliated on. We're then going to swing for three. Knocking Zola down to one. I'm already up. Draw four cards. Oh, we take the retaliate. I didn't do that. Uh, so we have a Thunderclap, Limitless Strength, Suborder Leap, and Combat Training. Okay. One threat goes to the main scheme. Then another test counter will come on. Then once there's three test counters, we remove... Well, we have to discard cards from Kandak until we discard a minion. And we put them into play. Alright. So we put them into play. Um, and they quick strike us. Retaliate for one. And now Zola's going to attack us for one plus nothing. So he hits us for one. We retaliate on him for one. Knocking him into stage two. So he now comes in, he's still got retaliate one, but he schemes the two and attacks for two, and he has 14 hit points. And when revealed, we search the encounter and discard pile uh, for the test subject side scheme and reveal it. I think I saw one here. So that comes into play, comes in with two threat per player, and says when defeated, the first player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a minion and reveal that minion. Of course, we're not going to worry about it because we're not thwarting. I was going to put a hazard icon on play, meaning we're going to get two encounter cards. Oh, and this guy hits us for two, before I forget. And we retail him for one. So we've got an ultimate bio servant. He comes in with tough. We then have uh, defense programming. So we attach the minion with the most remaining hit points without another copy of defense program attached. If I can't, this card gets surge, but we can attach it. The attached minion gets two hit points plus guards. So that will go on the ultimate bio servant. It's going to make things tricky. Okay. Going to spend three resources for a thunderclap, knocking out the berserk mutate, knocking off the tough off the ultimate bio servant, and because it's not an attack, we can target Zola with it to take him down to eleven. We're going to swing for three. And the ultimate bio servant still got another three health there. We're going to flip down. We're going to use our experimental research ability to draw a card and discard a card. Strength, so we're going to throw away suborder leap. We're going to spend strength to spend two resources to put combat training to play, which gives us plus one attack. And we're ready. Get five cards. We have a clobber, skilled strike, limitless strength, and a Hulk smash. Okay, so Zola is going to scheme for two plus nothing. So he schemes two there, and the Biosurgeon schemes for one, pushing us to five out of six. Get our two encounter cards because of the hazard icon. Got an ultimate bio servant back. Well, two ultimate bio servants now. He comes in with tough. And we have technology enhancements, which insight one, which is going to push this. And we place one test counter main scheme, which I forgot to do at the start of this thing, so that should be on two. So 
Uh, when revealed, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a copy for a pile for a minion and reveal it. Um, we are going to grab Berserk and Mutate. Because he can't quick strike us because we're an alter ego. Then we have the Mad Doctor scheme comes into play, it comes in with one threat per player. And it's the same thing with the test counters. So we Oh, this should be gone. I think we're just going to win, right? So what's he got? Yeah, okay. So we're going to flip up to Hulk. We're going to spend three resources for a Hulk smash, which is going to be 14 damage for Soviet vehicle, but we'll also add a, a skilled strike to give us plus two. So we're hitting for 16 onto the ultimate bio servant. He's going to soak three. And the rest is going to splash over onto Zola, which is going to be enough to knock him out. So, once again, Hulk's strongest one there is. Uh, smashed Zola, even despite the situation we were facing. Uh, hopefully I didn't make any mistakes there. Again, I'll point them out uh, if I did in the description below. Uh, so if you enjoyed this content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.